Is there any pattern, any common denominator between this and Oklahoma City? And no, it's, it's a few things. It's, it's not only, uh, it's been throughout the entire season. You know, we've, there's been a variety of ways, and um, sooner or later we got to be able to correct them. What do you think of Alfie's foul calls against you? Scott Foster, man, he's a, uh, you know, I never, I never really talk about officiating or anything like that, but just just rude and, and, and arrogant. Um, I mean, you aren't able to talk to him throughout the course of a game. And it's like, how do you build that relationship um, with officials? Um, you know, so, and it's not even that call. Like, it's it's just, you know, who who he is on that floor. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty frustrating. And I mean, I, and I'm probably going to get hit, but honestly, I, I don't really say anything. I'm a pretty quiet guy to myself, but uh, it's one of those things where you can't voice your opinion. You can't have a conversation with someone that's officiating the game, and then you know you're getting a tech. It's uh, it's pretty sad. You know, Chris had similar comments about Foster last year. Do, do you? Feel I mean, like that's another thing. I mean, last year in the postseason, we in, in the Western Conference Finals, I think he officiated a couple of our games, and it's just it's, it's lingering, and it's something that uh, has to be looked at for sure. Do you feel like there, there's a it's a personal issue. Yeah, for sure, for sure, it's personal. For sure, like I don't think he should be able to even, you know, officiate our games anymore. Honestly, is that a rarity among officials? I can't hear you. Is that a rarity among? No, no, no. I don't, and I don't really talk about officials or anything. But I think just for him in particular, like it's, he's uh, he's different. How did it feel to have Clay back on the court tonight? Feels good, man. It felt good. Um, I know he was excited. He was excited to get back on the court. Even though I, I saw it in his face, facial expression, and the way he was active yesterday on the court in practice. Um, you know, obviously we didn't come away with the win, but uh, he did some really great things out there. So just continue to build his conditioning up. And, um, you know, I had a couple of live opportunities where I could have found him that these last few weeks I've been, you know, shooting the floater um, that obviously I'll get better at. But uh, it was good to have him back on the floor. Notice you added that to your game and floater. I mean, I had, when, you know, we had Clint was out for those few weeks, I really didn't have any lob targets. So I had to, you know, work on the little floater um, to get it over to Biggs. Tonight I missed a couple toward down the end of the stretch, but uh, I'm lucky to have Big Fella back. It sounds like it's not too uncharacteristic of your team to have big leads and not hang on. How, how concerning is it uh, that that's going to happen? I'll just answer that, but it's not. I mean, it's not concerning. We have to correct it, or we won't. Or we won't get to where we want to go. Man, it's getting uglier and uglier. You know what I mean? I was talking to James about it. We we got to be better. You know what I mean? I I'd be a lot more worried if. You know, we was just losing the whole game. You know, always down 15 or something like that. But um, I mean, we we running out of games to get it right. But um, we we know what we're capable of. We know that we can get the lead. So now we just got to figure out how to keep it. What do you think of James getting called for four offensive fouls? Was that four? Four offensive fouls. I don't know, man. This happens. I gotta watch the game over again. I'll do that, but you know. having not had a chance to do that yet, obviously. But you guys obviously have a history with Scott Foster. Is it in your minds during a game? Are you think aware of some of the issues in the past? Uh, I mean, I I, I don't know what else to do. You know what I mean? Been met with the league with him before and all this stuff. I I, I don't know what else to do. I just don't know what else to do. You know what I mean? Just keep playing. I don't know what else to do. A tough stretch, three losses in the last four, and now go to the Warriors. How it is a potential to turn things around with that team? Um, yeah, it can. It can, and uh, I just keep saying we got to keep keep playing and fighting and keep making sure the spirit's right. You know. Uh, I don't know what place we're in now. I know we probably we lost three out of four, but uh, I think I said it before. We've lost. I've been on a team that won 17 games in a row before. You know, I always say that. You know, so um, you know, it's, we we can still get it right.